What is going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to start a profitable coaching business in 2022. I'm not going to go ahead and hold anything back from you, so make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end because the end, we're going to go ahead and talk about how you guys can get your first five clients. So let's go ahead and get started with the video right now now so maybe you're brand new in your coaching business or maybe you are thinking about starting a coaching business but you just don't know how to and that's why you're watching this video that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and cover now i'm not going to go ahead and tell you guys a whole bunch of bs of saying hey post this post this post that no i'm not going to do that i'm going to go ahead and tell you the foundation of stuff that you need to go ahead and do to go ahead and get your clients okay and also before you even get to start marketing and doing all of that stuff where I know most people skip all the way to that. They skip the foundation part, which is literally the most important part of your whole journey. Literally, I did this. I made that mistake. I skipped the foundation parts for the longest amount of time. It came back and it bit me where we all know. Why? Because if you are struggling to get clients, if you can't get clients, you don't have a marketing issue because some of you guys are really good marketers. Some of you guys know exactly what to do. You know you have to do posts in Facebook groups and message people who interact with the Facebook groups and build relationships and get them to on a call. Well, you guys all know that process, right? You guys probably know that process. But if nobody's responding to your Facebook posts, if nobody's responding to your content, if nobody seems interested in your content or starts messaging you saying, hey, I'm interested in that is because you have a foundation problem. You are not talking to a very specific problem that someone else has. And that is step number one. Number one is we need to go ahead and understand who we are speaking to. Now, when I say who we're speaking to, I'm not trying to say, hey, yeah, they're men between this age and this age and this age. No, we need to be very specific on who that person is. Do they have kids? Do they go to school? What are their beliefs? Are they Christian? Are they conservative? Why does that, why does this all matter? Because at the end of the day, you want to attract your ideal client. You don't want to attract just anybody who comes in who's willing to pay. Trust me, you don't want to do that because they're going to be a headache of a client. What you do want to do is attract your ideal client, someone that you are wanting to work with, someone that you wake up every day like, oh my God, yes, I, I get to talk to this person today. Not someone that just drains your energy. And this is very important. So ideally, be very specific on who that person is. Sometimes this person that we're describing is ourselves in the past. So you want to make sure that you say, okay, they're this age, they're this gender, they have these beliefs, they have these political views, um, and they have kids or they don't have kids, right? All of these things matter. But I don't want you to stop right there. Once you get the demographics out of the way, you want to go ahead and come into... Okay, what are this person's pain points? What are their desires? What are their enemies, right? So you want to go ahead and really list that out as well. You want to go ahead and talk about, okay, what are their challenges currently? What are their challenges that they're going through currently in their day-to-day -day life? What are their desires? This is very important as well. You want to go ahead and talk about pain points. What are their pain points? What are their excuses? What are their limiting beliefs? Why am I telling you to take your time and figure out who this person is and like even what will care about their challenges, desires, pain points? Because ideally people run away from pain and they run away towards pleasure. So in your content, what you wanna go ahead and do is Describe where they currently are now and hit those pain points. You want to press those pain points, press, 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 press those pain points, and then show them what they could have. What is the desired outcome that they want? They paint a picture in their head of their desired outcome and how it's possible. You want to go ahead and talk about the excuses that they're telling themselves and how they can overcome those excuses. You want to go ahead and tell them the limiting beliefs that they're telling themselves that's holding them back from actually achieving the success that they want to achieve and how they can overcome those limiting beliefs. This is all important information that you want to go ahead and get talked about in your content because that's what's going to attract those ideal clients to you. That's what's going to go ahead and make your post actually go viral. That's what's going to go ahead and make your post resonate with your ideal client because they're going to be like, oh man, he's talking directly to me. Like he's absolutely right. I am having that problem and I can fix it. And if you position your program as the solution to that problem or to that pain point that they're having, 
they're going to start messaging you saying, hey, I need help. Hey, I need help. Hey, I want more help. All because you did this part. All because you did your foundations. That's why I do not skip your foundations. And I don't let any of my clients skip it either. So after you do your who, you want to go really specific and you want to do as much. You want to go ahead and go into Facebook groups and ask these questions. What are your challenges? What are your pain points? What are your desires? And get information from other people. But once you get that done, then we can move on to the second part. We can move on to the second part, which is the what. You know, what result is it that they actually want? Like, what is that result that they want? Um, And then when you figure that out, you can move on to the how. How can you provide that result? So you have to figure this out. What is that big idea? What is that big result that they desire? Do they want to lose 20 pounds? Why do they want to lose 20 pounds? And you want to go deep into why they want that result. Because people don't want clients. They want money. People don't want money. They want what money gets you. They want the freedom. Why do they want the freedom? So they can spend more time with their family. Ideally, that is the desire that they want. That is the big outcome that they want. You have to figure that out for your clients, for your ideal client. So you already figured out who this person is. Now you have to go back to this person and ask them, what is it that they truly desire and why? And go deep into that specific desire because at the end of the day then you can re really go ahead and ask yourself okay how can i provide this result for that client how can i grab that result that it is they want and reverse engineer it and say okay well the, if they want that result the first thing that they have to do is take this step and then this step and then this step right and then they have to take this step and then this step and then this step right they have to do all of this stuff and then this becomes the how this becomes the framework that you can go back to the who and sell it to them, right? This is how it works. You figure out who your ideal client is, who you want to work with, what result that they truly desire, how can you provide that result for them, and then go back to them and sell it, literally. But if we don't have this process, then how are we actually going to go back and sell it to them? We're not going to be able to, right? So the first thing that you have to do is figure out who your ideal client is. Then what result they desire. And lastly, how can you provide that result? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the fourth thing, which is create an irresistible offer. Irresistible offer. You want to go ahead and create an irresistible offer, an offer that they simply cannot say no to. Right, so the way you do this is like, remember, you grab the how, what the how of the result that they want. So they want this result and you create how they can achieve that result. And make sure that you go ahead and eliminate all of those excuses. So you wanna go ahead and add stuff to your offer so they can eliminate those excuses and those limiting beliefs. So those excuses are irrelevant because if they still have those excuses by the time they come into your offer, they're going to be like, oh my hand, like, I don't know if I can actually do this. I don't know if this is possible. So you want to make sure you increase the likelihood of achievement through the roof, as well as decreasing the amount of time that it takes your ideal client to get there. So you want to go ahead and add time frame, right? Because people want to achieve the results as fast as way possible. So you, you as the coach, you have to ask yourself, okay, how can I provide this result for this person the fastest way possible? They don't want the result in a year, so don't make your coaching program two years long, right? Make it a certain amount of time where it makes sense for your ideal client to focus and go all in into, right? You also want to have this program priced accordingly. You want to go ahead and charge at least $2,000 for this program. The reason why is because if you charge too low, they're not going to be paying attention to you. They're not going to take you serious, right? So in, think about it. You're giving your time to this person. You're giving your personal time as a one-on-one -on -one coaching client to this person. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you're charging accordingly to that. The next thing is that you want to go ahead and look at the sacrifices, right? How can you make their life as easy as possible? You as a coach, you need to create systems in place or things in place to get make sure that they, their life is easy when they're trying to achieve that certain result. Remember, they joined your program as a shortcut. 
they joined your program because they're looking for a shortcut to their success, whether that's losing 20 pounds, whether that's building their business, whether that's you know getting over a marriage, or whether that's fixing their marriage. You're, they're looking for a shortcut and how they can actually achieve their thing that they're hiring you to do. So you want to make sure that if, if it takes too many things, if it takes too many sacrifices, then they're going to be like, oh my God, this is too much work and I don't have time for this. So you want to make sure that you create stuff, create things that makes their sacrifices as, as minimal as possible because that is going to give them a higher chance of success in your program. And that's how you can elevate the price of your program to $2,000 and more because you're thinking about all of this other stuff. Okay, so now that you know your who, you know the what, you know the how, and now you have an irresistible offer, now it's time to actually go sell this program. Okay, so at this point, at this point, now it's time to go ahead and go marketing. So what you want to go ahead and do is pick one, pick one platform, right? Pick one way of getting attention. Pick one way of getting attention. Pick one way of nurturing that attention. Nurturing. And pick one way to convert. Convert that attention. You want to pick one way to have attention coming to you on a consistent basis, and you want to pick one way to nurture that attention, and you want to pick one way to convert that attention. So at this point, what you want to go ahead and look at, you want to go ahead and look at your business as a funnel, like as a, in like a sideways funnel, I guess. And the reason why I want you to look at it like this is because at the end of, over here, they're going to go ahead and sign up for your program. At, at the beginning, they have no idea who you are. They have no idea who you are right here. So well, your job is to get them inside this funnel, inside this ecosystem, and let your nurturing sequence go ahead and do the selling for you. So at the end, this is what I do. This is my process and I'm gonna share it with you guys right now, right? So Facebook groups, I'll put FB groups right here. Um, they don't know who I am, right? I post in there and now they know who I am. They follow me and they go to my profile. In my profile, I create more content. I drop videos, I do interviews. What am I doing? I am nurturing, right? How do I do that? In my profile with videos, content, interviews I do all of that and then I go ahead and have call to actions that says hey if you want more information go ahead and comment this hey if you want this high value content offer do you want it yes go ahead and comment and then from there I go ahead and get them on a call where I can go ahead and convert them into a client that is the process that I follow that is the process that my clients follow that is the process that you know, we all follow and it works really, really well. Again, if you're using Instagram, this could be just reels, right? You see how the attention can just change, but the system is still the same. So that could be reels or that could be TikTok or that could be YouTube. And then if from YouTube, they go to your channel, they watch more videos where you do content, interviews, um, and they're consuming your content and you have call to actions where they can go ahead and jump on a call with you and then actually become a client. The process is simple. Don't overcomplicate the process. Just think about it from a 30,000 point view, right? So if you're using Instagram, okay, so it's going to be reels and then they're going to go to your profile and then what's going to happen to your profile? If your profile is optimized, if it looks good and you created the right type of content, then you can go ahead and have a call to actions in your stories where they can go ahead and then book on a call and actually become a client. That is simple. Now, let me go ahead and talk to you guys about this call real quick. In terms of actually selling your program, as a new coach, you probably don't have any testimonials, right? You probably don't not have any testimonials. So how do you actually sell this call? Well, something that I want you to think about is your ideal client, right? When they get on a call with you, you want them to come and actually sign up, but they have this big barrier, right? They have this big barrier in between you guys. The easiest way to go ahead and get them from here to here is by giving them a result. You want to go ahead and give your ideal client a result on the call because that I will automatically shatter this wall. And the reason why is because at the end of the day, like they don't trust you that much. Yeah, they're on a call, 
they trust you enough to be on a call with you, but they don't trust you that much to actually give you $2,000 or $3,000, right? And that's exactly what you want. You want a $2,000 client or a $3,000 client. At this point, you have to get them over this wall. How do you actually get them over this wall? You have to demonstrate that you can help them by actually helping them. Demonstrate that you can help. by actually helping them. This is the key right here. You wanna go ahead and demonstrate that you can help your ideal client by actually helping them so they can get over this wall and actually trust you and happily give you money. Why? Because you already gave them a result. And if you give them a result in a 30 minute call, in a 15 minute call, imagine what you guys can do together in the next 90 days. Guys, that is exactly how you start your coaching business. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what's your biggest question when it comes to starting or scaling or growing your coaching business. Now, guys, if you guys want my help to help you guys grow your business in the next 90 days, go ahead and book in that call down below. I would love to see where you guys are now and see what we could do together to make you guys, to help you guys get to your first maybe 10K, maybe 5K month if that's your goal. So thank you so much for your time, and I'll talk to you guys later.